What is up, you guys? My name is Stav. You're in my living room. Today, I have not one, but two guests. They're fellow hey, podcasters hey. in the city. What up, what up? I'll let you guys introduce yourselves. It's Giovanna. And it's Betty. We're the After Hours Podcast. Hey. Hey. That's what's <laughs> up. That's what's up. I'm getting uh, a bit of deja vu. Yeah. Uh, a funny story. Not funny. I fucked <laughs> yeah, up, no. guys. I fucked up <laughs> so funny. bad. We can make it funny. Yeah, <laughs> we yeah, can, it's, we it's can okay. make it funny. I had these ladies out for an episode that we filmed a week ago. And uh, I messed up the audio <laughs> so bad. But isn't it good that you had us? Because like yeah. we're podcasters. So, so like, we, understand. we understand. No, that, that is so true. Yeah. It made yeah. me feel... I, I was happy... It happened with you guys yeah. because you guys know the yeah, struggle, the struggle. Yeah. of getting it right. Exactly. So if it had to happen with anybody, I'm glad it was you guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's thank okay, you for coming out once again. Oh, yeah. yeah, we're glad second we're here. Time. Second time with Ned. Second, with time's, <laughs> second time's the charm. If yeah. we have to do a third, this is just not going to work. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not meant to be. <laughs> the universe is telling us something. Right, right. <laughs> But they are hosts of After Hours Podcast. If you haven't heard of them, go check them out. They're so close to 100 subscribers. Yeah, we're at 96 right now. So for all my followers, if you could go over to their channel and subscribe because we need to get them to 100. 100. We're going to do a little giveaway. Yeah. It may be. Nothing too major. (laughs) Too major. Just a little Within our budget. Yeah. They got a little something planned over there. Yeah. But it's, it's cool to get fellow podcasters in the space because it is such an underappreciated form of art, you know? It is. It, it's really an art to be able to talk to people for as long as you do and to talk to just anybody and anyone. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of people have a hard time doing that in normal life. And it's kind of a skill to be able to talk to yeah. literally anyone. Yeah, for sure. And especially you're getting to meet these strangers that you've never met before. Yeah. And I think it's like, incur- like it's so cool that they get to open up to us. Because like, I have her and at least I feel comfortable being around her. But them being able to open up to us and like tell us all these like things about their life is so cool. Yeah. And also like there's a camera and like we're having a conversation, you know, we're like opening it up and everything. But like, you know, sometimes a little slip up, you know, you're like, Ugh, but it's Yeah, so or fun. our best like our best conversations with people oh, yeah. will be off camera. Yeah. I think the yeah. pressure the pressure the of the camera, camera yeah. The camera adds a lot. Yeah. Yes. It freaks people out, yeah. including like myself first, sometimes. No, definitely. <laughs> yeah, was, yeah. We're still trying to get used to it. No, yeah. It's a huge adjustment, but a, a cool thing. This is the first time um, my audience will ever have more than two people yeah. talking one on one, and it's it's cool to have three or even four people on because the conversation bounces around in yeah. way more different directions. Mm-hmm. Where it's just one on one, you sometimes hit these like you know kind of awkward points in the conversation. But with three people, it's it's a a breeze. I mean, yeah, yeah. definitely. We had actually four people at once. Yes, it I was, saw that. We, it's, yeah, it was a little crazy, but it was fun, though. Like, I don't know, we're just, like, chilling, hanging out. And, you know, there's a camera in there. But it was nice, you know, we're having some drinks and stuff. It can get a little <laughs> chaotic with yeah. four. Okay. But as long as, like, everybody... Knows they're, like, place. Yeah, it's like, hey, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> try talk. not to talk over yeah. each other. Like, yeah. step on any toes. And it is kind of hard, though, because it's, like... Wow, like when I'm talking, I get excited. Like yes. I tend to like over, like I get loud and I start <laughs> get loud. I, do, I get loud, I'm a loud bitch. Um, yeah. So I'm just, I, I'm learning to <laughs> let people talk, take it down a little bit, right? <laughs> little bit. But you know, it's a work in progress. So, all right, we we covered a ton of just interesting podcast or topics. The the first round it over, mm-hmm. and. uh I, I want to touch on just a couple of them because they're so cool and I'm so sad they don't get like the <laughs> the first round of it. But when you guys were were starting your podcast, um, you, you really didn't know too much about the podcasting world besides the fact that you wanted to do it. Yeah. And um, you spoke about how you went to a shop in Appleton 
and talked with the guy. I, I don't know. I, I just love hearing you guys tell it because it, it's a cool story. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, for like the longest time, we knew that we wanted to do something with like a camera. And we first started off like making videos on my laptop. We never posted them or whatever, but then we were <laughs> <Okay>. like, <laughs> we were like, fuck it, let's start a podcast, like, let's actually do it. And we just went to Appleton, it was a guitar center, and we went, but we just wanted to look around, we weren't going to, like, actually buy anything or, you know, but this guy we met, he he was really cool, I don't remember Yeah, we, name. like, told the guy, like, hey, we're just trying to start a podcast, what do we need? And he was like, uh, okay, like, let me show you around, and we're, like, looking, and the sets and all, all all this stuff it's like all new to us so mm-hmm. we were like okay you know and we were like fuck it let's just buy it we're like, like let's just see where it goes like, if we have an it. idea we like run with it like we don't think about it we just yeah we don't we bought we bought all the <laughs> i mean there's definitely some thought behind oh, yeah, it because yeah, you guys yeah. were able to pull it yeah, off yeah, yeah. but yeah. so but yeah we bought everything that day and yeah, from there. Yeah. <laughs> the rest is history. Yeah. yeah. The rest is history. It, it is very cool to to dive into something like that where you you don't you don't necessarily know how to get to where you want to be. But I mean, from from the first episode to to where you guys are now, like it's it's some incredible growth. I mean, oh, yeah. Yeah, just like me, I, I'm sure you guys have messed up <laughs> oh, a few episodes. We <laughs> <laughs> messed up hello. Yeah. <laughs> a lot. Hey, don't look at our few last ones. They're a little slanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the camera. It's a little. <laughs> camera's a little if you want to be an ass- assistant, let me know. Yeah, Shut up. up. <laughs> no, but yeah, um, we don't. But we still, you know, we still fuck up. But yeah, in the first one, I feel like we weren't as. We recorded that first oh, episode. We recorded it like three, three or four times. I swear yeah. to you, it was like two in the morning, and we were still recording. We're, we're like, like we're fuck gonna, it, let's do it again. Record. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because we were like, no, we sounded a little, little no, nah, it's not us. Yeah. yeah, but the last we were like, we gotta do this girl, but we did it. It mm-hmm. was, it was a little embarrassing but and you guys want to take this far right like this is not a short term like one and done type situation you guys want to expand yeah Yeah. we definitely do you know we got some some things in the the press Mm -hmm. and it's it's a little difficult right now just because we both work full-time jobs and like i'm in school she has her personal life that is like keeps her very occupied so I feel like once I graduate school and like once I get a better job, like I'll have more time to focus on this podcast thing. Yeah, it's yeah. it's hard to keep consistent with this type of thing when it's not your full time gig. Mm-hmm. I know yeah. I've started so many different projects that were kind of just like proof of concepts. Like I did a live series with some local musicians where I just had them perform. Have you ever seen the the colors videos? I know on what you're YouTube? talking about. I seen that. Um, I think it was on your Instagram or someone did it and it was cool. I love yeah. it. I love it. So I, I, I did a few like I live know. music, you know, sort of setups and they they were really cool, but I never followed through with it. Oh, and okay. I always have this issue where I'll start a project and it'll be really cool. But if it's not like super easy for me to accomplish, I don't do it. Yeah. I feel you. Consistency <laughs> is so hard. It really is. I mean, same with me, like painting or like reading. I start something and I'll be so excited in the beginning and then I'll be like, eh, whatever. Next, tomorrow, tomorrow. Yeah. Are you guys <laughs> worried about that happening with podcasting? Um, I don't know. I feel like, you know, I like I enjoy doing it. You know, mm-hmm. sometimes, you know, we got to get ready. We got to we gotta prepare, you know, what are we going to talk about this and this. But I love doing this. Like, I'd rather do this than anything else. Like, this is, this is fun. I love meeting new people, talking, you know, it's it's easy, you know. Yeah, it. and then we have each other, so yeah, yeah. we like can push each other. You yeah, know like I mean? sometimes I'm like, fuck, like I don't want to do it, and it should be telling me like, bro, like we gotta do it. So it, it, like we be like kind of like balance each other out, mm-hmm. pick each other up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think some of my favorite episodes are just the two of you sitting on the couch Thank talking. Thank you. That's what someone else said, and I was like, I can't yeah. believe that. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I love when people are, are like with <laughs> us, but like sometimes like you know the topics like what are we gonna talk about, and it's kind of hard. But I mean. Yeah. Well, you, you get a little more personal with oh, yeah, it because you, you, <laughs> you're talking about your day and yeah. like how everything's going in life. And, and it's a, a look into a connection that you probably don't share too often. Mm-hmm. But I mean, you guys are so close. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah. we, we talked about it um, on the last podcast where I asked something along the lines of, have you guys ever like fought in your entire <laughs> friendship? And you're like, oh, no, maybe like 10 minutes. And then we're cool. Yeah, like, <laughs> not like a serious fight, but we do like argue, you know. We give each other the silent treatment for yeah. 10 minutes and that's it. <laughs> that's and then that's it. all we need. Yeah, yeah like, I just need a... No, yeah, a but second, we. Yeah. I think we found out that we are Twin Flames. Oh, yeah. Twin Flames. Uh, explain like, the Twin Flames. I've heard of it, but I haven't. So, Twin Flames is basically one soul split into two. Interesting. Yeah, right? Like, or like a yeah. soulmate, too. Like, I think she's like one of my soulmates. Like, you know. Like, she She's meant to be with you. Yeah, like, she, I, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. Anyway, cut. No, that's gross. It's like gross. No, we do that all the time. <laughs> we do that all the time. No, she just be doing that. She's just making it awkward. Uh, right. Yeah. Why is she at that? No, it, it's yeah, cool to to find somebody that you have that connection with because mm-hmm. obviously it's a rare thing that not many people can you know even imagine what that's like to be in your position but to have somebody close to you that you can lean on and also do creative work with it's oh yeah it's a huge thing yeah i'm super thankful for having her i like thank god every single day because i swear if i did not have her i don't know where i'd be in the trenches (laughs) (laughs) no for real like you know we've been knowing each other for so long but damn like we're doing this shit together like i wouldn't like I wouldn't want to do this with anybody else, like, you know? So I'm glad, like, she's doing this project with me, and, mm-hmm. you know? And it's a step into her world, kind of, because uh, yeah. she does photography, and I've always, like, observed her, and, like, she's gotten to meet so much cool people, and I'm like, wow, that's so amazing. And now that I'm doing this with her, like, I'm meeting the people that she knows, and it's so cool. Yeah, and it also, I world. feel like it, like, connects with it, too, because it's, like, like, I love, like, when I'm doing, like, a photo shoot, like, I get to, like, actually, like, talk to the person. Like, I, like... Get it. to meet them a little Exactly. More. And, like, oh, you know, because, like, sometimes it gets a little shy, you know, they're not too, like, with the camera. So, like, you know, I want to, like, break You got to open them up, kind of Yeah, crap, exactly. Because, like, I'm in. such a, like, funny person, like, goofy person. Mm-hmm. So, I like to, like, put that on them. Like, hey, like, just, it's a fun thing, you know, so... That's another thing that I don't think a lot of people possess is the ability to... Uh, create that sort of atmosphere where that allows people to open up and yeah. allows people to, you know, get to a comfortable level with yeah, people. Like, I mean, imagine if you were a podcaster and you just, didn't have that, yeah. it would be like the that's, worst thing that's ever. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's so easy to me just to be in front of a camera. Like, I don't know. Like, this is me. <laughs> Self expression. Yeah. Like, uh, let's do this shit. Uh. It is cool to to tie in because I do it all the time. Where I tie in people I know from you know past photography gigs or past videos, or and to bring them on the podcast and to connect on that deeper level where you are finding out more about them. And it's not mm. it's kind of a low pressure situation where you can just get inside their head. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like how they work, or like what inspires them, or like. Why did you do this? Or, you know, like, just to get to a little inside story of, like, what they do. You know, that's why I want to do this stuff. And because it's, like, you know when you hear, like, people's, like, successful story? Mm. I love watching, like, uh, or, like, listening to, like, podcasts about that. Like, how they got there. That's why, like, I want to know, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's, mm-hmm. like, the documentaries. That I love out. that. Like, that's the best. Yeah. Where you get, like, a sense of... You know, if it's, like, a celebrity, you get a yeah. look at, like, how they came up. I but love that. Do you guys ever find, like, the celebrity culture to be a little, like, I, what's the word? Like, a little hurtful? You know, like, it's not a good thing overall. Like, celebrity worshipping. Hurtful, oh. like, towards them? No, like. Like, you're, like, like a cult. Like yeah. A cult. Oh, like, I, their fans? Or no, what? Like, I know what you mean. <laughs> like... I'm trying to think They're of a good so way to describe like, it. Like that we have in America, we have such um like top top celebrities. Like, yeah, we worship like yeah. top oh, okay. celebrities. Like yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean, they're just humans well, at like the end the, of the day. A perfect example, the Kardashians. Right. The exactly. Founders, you know, like them, like Kylie, this, this. We like, hold them on such a high pedestal. It's like, bro, they're just like we're humans. Like we're all in this bitch yeah. together, but you know. Mm-hmm. And you know, they, they have so much influence over uh-huh. like younger 
younger generations, younger kids, even our generation. Oh, yeah. I mean, we are so caught up in like always wondering what, you know, your favorite celebrity is doing or even myself with like Kanye, dude, I follow Kanye so hard. It's like, <laughs> it's bad. It's obsessive, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, well, I'm listening to his stories. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's, it's got to be somewhat hurtful to like. Oh, like, I know what you mean. Like, um, how do I explain this? Like, you worship them so much that like, you, you're like, you think that you're in their world type yes. of thing. Like, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Yes, yeah, so kind of like we got into, again, I keep bringing up the last podcast, but we it talked was, about, it was, good. It was, it was good so good. Podcast, yeah. we, we talked about like TikToks and how mm-hmm. that is kind of having a negative impact on on kids and, you know, the the short form content and it kind of falls in line with the celebrity worship thing. Mm-hmm. And then I, I kept thinking about that even after the fact, after we talked about it, like, are we just old? Like, do we just not understand? Like, <laughs> yeah, I feel like we're gonna get into that point. Like, we're just like, huh? Like, the mm-hmm. younger generation is over here with the new move, and we're like, what? What? Yeah. I, what? But like weird. I said before in the other episode, like that one little girl, she, it was like tell the camera a secret, but like she was turned around so they couldn't see her face. But she was like, I'm only what was it like twelve or thirteen, and I feel like I constantly have to like dress up and look a certain way. Or do things that are, like, not my age appropriate, I guess. She was like, today I went to, what was it? I don't even know. She was like, I, I got my face painted, and, like, I felt oh, yeah. like a kid a for the first yeah. time in forever. Yep. And I was like, that's so crazy. Like, I never thought about how much social media affects these kids. Right. And I I, I stumbled across those videos where um, it, it's exactly what you're talking about, where... Um, they face away from the camera and they mm-hmm. tell their truth. I saw those. And oh dude, God, some of them cool. are so sad, but some of yes. them are, are super cool. But yeah, it's yeah. interesting. You, you give people a platform to talk about stuff. And that was a really good idea, whoever did that. Yeah. That's a good ass idea. I was thinking about it. I'm like, I should do that. But like, I don't know where, like, you know, like gather people like in downtown or something. <laughs> yeah. like, I, I mean, don't you know. could. Yeah. Like, I like, that's cool though. Like, you It's know? a really cool idea. Yeah, hey, check this out. Because <laughs> at the end of the day, like I feel like everyone puts up a front. Yeah. Like outside in the outside world, you put up a front, and like everyone goes through the same shit. You know what I like, mean? Like everybody's going through some shit. You yeah. know what I mean? And we're all human. We're all we all have feelings and emotions. And we all fuck up, and we all have our good times and bad times, and we hide so much from like the outside world. So mm-hmm. it's like nice to see how people are humans you know right everybody wants to front appear like their life is perfect which again falls into the celebrity worship yes i mean that's that's constantly what the kardashians are doing Like they only put their goods you know like hey i'm look good and this Mm -hmm. is man because if you see their pictures damn they look bomb (laughs) but like we don't think they're photoshopped Photoshopped like if i could do that Shit, you know what I'm saying? Who's that shorty right there? Who's that big shorty right there? You know what I'm saying? A little slim waist and everything. Like, I'm about to start photoshopping my pictures too. Watch out. Watch out. Watch out, Instagram. And then you uh, you get into uh, everybody's talking about what happened with uh, Will Smith. Oh my God. And that whole thing. What What do you think about it? Ah, dude, I. It's hard to take a stance on it because everybody's like super split and being like I'm like split too though. Like I uh, I'm a little split, but at the same time I'm like, damn Will Smith, like you fucked up, dude. Yeah. Like you had no right to do any of that. <laughs> yeah. And he definitely could have handled that way better. And he was laughing at first. And yeah. I feel like because oh. the wife like said yeah. or looked, I don't know what went on or behind the scenes. She got no business saying anything. <laughs> like, I'm just for real. Sorry. Like she probably did like something that like he's like, bitch. Like, oh, whatever. you can totally see it in, in the, better do the video yeah. where he's laughing. He yeah. looks over and then he oh, sees that see Jada that. is like dead serious and pissed yeah. off. Yeah. And then he goes up. And then there was a video that came out after where it's him walking off the stage. And then Jada is laughing. <laughs> and oh, I don't know if you guys have seen that crazy video. Bitch. But yeah, <laughs> no. I, she gonna come I am definitely me. not team Will Smith. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think Jada just needs some some help. I don't know. I saw, the, it was like an interview or something. And they were talking about their split up. And then her oh, situation. Oh, she, she has, has, she has yep. red tape 
Red table. Red table. She talks her about it so casually. Right. About her and August. I'm like, how can she say this to Will right now? Like, yeah. she talks about it like it's nothing. No, she airs out so much of her personal life yes. on her podcast. I, I've seen a few um of her episodes, but I didn't watch that one. It can... Ah, gosh. I, I'm curious to get your perspective on this because I think there is a point where you have to not talk about certain oh, yeah, things yeah, yeah. that like, happen in your personal like, life. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Do you guys ever worry about, you know, stepping into that? Or are you like, no, I, I want to talk about this kind of stuff because I feel like mm-hmm. they're kind of two positions and it can be super helpful to talk about some things. But mm-hmm. Like for us, like I feel like sometimes like I slip up, I say something like too personal, you know, but like I, like I feel like we get us together, we're like really open. We could talk about like, like anything but like to a certain like extent extent yeah, yeah. and that's what we worried about a lot in the oh, beginning because yeah, yeah. we're like a lot like we're gonna have family watching us you know we're gonna oh have people God. that we know watching us and like if we share too much like that's yeah. just not you know what i mean like mm-hmm. they don't need to know all this right. <laughs> yeah. but at the same time we're also like open books like we like to discuss things that others don't like to discuss oh yeah, about, yeah. you know what i mean so yeah yeah <laughs> there, there's definitely lines and mm-hmm. i uh I I I'm having the same debate like you guys are having with you know how far do you charge into that kind of stuff before it starts to be not okay? Yeah, it's hard. You gotta keep a it little is. surface level. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I sometimes like I I like would slip up like you know they say something too, but and then you gotta cut it out. I gotta edit that out. <laughs> yeah, you know, good thing I'm not editing. <laughs> but like Josh, Joanna, shut up! You shouldn't be saying that. Yeah. Or like I mute it. I have to like mute it. You know. <laughs> I tried to. (laughs) Or, yeah, I, uh, the first few episodes, I was always like so in my head about saying like the certain words I say over and over again. Oh my God. Where I'll like (laughs) start a point and then not finish it. Dude, I, I, we don't even care about how (laughs) we talk. (laughs) Our vocabulary is the worst, bro. (laughs) The people watching us are probably like, bro, what are these bitches trying to say (laughs) right now? Cause we suck at talking. Yes, we do. (laughs) Our brain is just everywhere. Yeah, because yeah. we're, like, we're like trying to say something in our brains. It's like, yeah, It's yeah, working yeah. too fast. Yeah, it's <laughs> working. It That's is. what we talked about last yeah, time. Yeah, yeah it's and working it's too hard because I'm like, oh, dude, like, I'm trying to like say it, but it's not coming out. Like, I don't know. But it's just us, though. Like, if they like watching us, they're going to watch, you know? So, you know, whatever. We're funny. Yeah, <laughs> we just, you know. We get the vibe. We get the vibe. <laughs> So I, you guys were recently in Chicago for oh, Betty's yeah. birthday, right? Yeah, twenty one. Twenty one, <laughs> big birthday. Big yeah. I, I, uh, I was recently in Chicago. I, I saw that. Yeah, I saw that too. I was there l- this last week for two days, um, Wednesday and Thursday, and uh, I, I need to get back to Chicago. Bro, more. Chicago is a vibe. Like. Ugh. So beautiful. so beautiful. What did you do? Uh, so work. I, it was for work. Um, they got <laughs> us uh, a reservation at Next Restaurant, Ooh. which is like this super famous, really well known. It's probably like the second best restaurant in Chicago. It's, it's fancy. Ooh. Yeah, it's got a Michelin did star. They, like, did they um, buy your food and everything? Like, yeah. Oh. No, it was super, Ooh. super cool. Herg. But the it was kind of like a learning experience because I, I work in the sort of the hospitality field realm. Mm -hmm. Um, So it was a really cool insight on how like the top of the top does their work. Oh, like, and like business and all that, like. Well, just how they, you know, how the servers like set the table and clear the table and how the kitchen runs. And we got the chef's table so we could see how the kitchen functioned and operated. Oh, that's cool. And it was such a, a cool testament to like watching professionals at work and i i always i always wish i could do that with podcasts. oh my god because yeah, yeah you can learn so much from watching just the best of the best do their thing and i learned from that like i learned from watching people you know but we need to take a class like a uh uh uh, uh, uh. A podcast class. Yeah, no, but that's really cool though. You know, class teaches a little bit, like, like you know, proper <laughs> words or something. <laughs> yeah, proper like, words, like conversation <laughs> class. Okay. Yeah, yeah, literally. No, that is like something that like helps us a little. English if class. You, if you guys know anything about it, please let us know. Uh, They're like just taking English class. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fail it. 
No, but that's really cool. Mm. I know the restaurant, like when I go to fancy restaurants, I love to watch like servers, mm. stuff like that. Like the way they like act around people, it's so cool. I'm like, wow. No, it was an awesome Bougie. trip. That's I definitely dope. want to get back to Chicago. I was so sad because the two days we were there, it was practically nonstop rain the entire oh. time. So we didn't get to, I haven't Explore? been to Chicago since I was probably like teenager. Oh yeah, you talked about like, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 14 at Bro, the latest. But we didn't get to like see oh. the city oh, or that's walk around. I want to do that. Like in the summertime, like well, I feel like we always take like at least one trip to like enjoy, like to the beach or to the buildings or just to walk around, you know, fuck around and eat. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Chicago. I hate going to Chicago when it's sad and cloud. Like when it's cloudy and raining, so depressing. it makes me feel so sad. I don't know what. Right. I like you it can't though. Explore, walk. I like around, it though. Yeah. It's like a vibe though. Like to take pictures, it is a vibe too. Like oh, I love that. <laughs> Ooh, <I love> it. <laughs> yeah i i Gloom. need to get back i have family up there that i, I definitely want to visit but chicago has my heart man <laughs> no. yeah you know where you. i'm just gonna pretend he's not there you know um i want to doesn't like cats i want to go to new york oh that's like one of my goals to like go to new york take some pictures i've been telling her like let's go yeah we I just know. for the photo just, shoot just just to fuck around, take some pictures. Like I have like where some spots that I need to hit, like at least four. For yeah, for those is. of you listening, Bro, me, like, Ned is oh, up yes. on Gio's lap. Bro, he gave me and like Giovanna this. Giovanna does not like cats. He gave me this dirty ass look, like bitch. The fuck? Oh, he just wants a pet. Give him a little pet. What a kiss? No, just, oh. just a pet. <laughs> Giovanna, he's like, <laughs> why do you think? They can tell, you know. Yeah, they can knows. tell. That's why he gave me a dirty ass look. I'm just gonna. Oh, does that mean he that likes you? you. <laughs> so, what's your beef with cats? I don't know. I just <laughs> think they could like jump high as fuck and like attack you because, like, you know, the nails. Does like, do you, does he look like he's gonna attack you? Uh, right? I don't really want to think about it because <laughs> he he sensed it. Mm -hmm. That's why. It's like yeah, Joanna thinks they're evil. Yeah, I love dogs so. though. <laughs> 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 Hi. Anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, such a cute dog. Such a cute, cute dog. <laughs> Such a cute dog. Yeah. Such a cute cat, though. I love He's my cute. pets, man. His blue eyes. He's blue very eyes. fancy. Good looking. I like his um, colors, too. Mixed. He's a mixed boy. <laughs> he is mixed. I, uh, last, last time we talked about like religion oh, and yeah, death yeah. and all of that stuff. Well, Recently, that stuff. <laughs> I've been having some really like vivid dreams. <gasps> oh. I had a weird dream too. Oh my god! I was telling Joanna because she called me in the morning and she told me about her weird dream, and I was like, "You know, they said that last night you had to keep track of what your dream was because it meant something." But I forgot what night it was. Do you guys get <laughs> like super? Dream? Oh, I have no idea. Oh. That's the thing. I I know when I'm dreaming because I'll wake up and for the first like ten seconds that I'm up, I remember everything that happened in the dream, and then. Before I can even like go to write anything yeah, down, I was gonna say you write it's it down. gone. Really? Yeah, it sucks because I used to have the most vivid dreams when I was little that I could just remember flat out. I, I, I had nightmares as a kid too that, you know, I had the frequent, I don't know what it's, what's it called when you have nightmares, reoccurring nightmares. Mm. I had like a few set dreams that you know, for a portion of my life, I would have these reoccurring dreams and they were awful. Like one, they're, they were so weird, but it was just like one of them, I was getting chased down a oh hallway God, I, yeah. and like, or like when you're running. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't have nightmares. Like I haven't had a nightmare in so long. Thank God. But literally the one dream that, or like if I do have a nightmare is my old apartment that I used to live at. It was like, from the living room was like connected to the kitchen it would go in a circle and i would dream that like chucky and like scream <laughs> and like all the like scary people yeah. were like chasing me around my living like my house yeah or that i was like swinging on this thing and it was like super high and it was like all scary but do you do you guys think dreams have meaning outside of dreams a little mm, i feel like they definitely can have meaning yeah. I mean, there's some dreams that I have that, like, predicted stuff that's happened. Sure no that. way. Yeah. Um, my f mom's friend was pregnant, and they were going to do a gender reveal, and it was coming up. And I had a dream, and I had a dream that she was carrying – she had her baby, and it was a boy. And I told my mom, I was like, Mom, I just had a dream, and her baby's a boy. I was like, I know it's a boy. And she, my mom went to the gender reveal, and it was a boy. 
Damn. Damn. I mean, you got 50 50 shot, but yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> right, yeah, right, 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 right. <laughs> That's true. But I mean, like, definitely, I feel like your subconscious can be telling you stuff at times. Right. Yeah, or yeah. trying to teach you something. Yeah. Or... Mm-hmm. What about you, Gio? What? <laughs> no. No, well, I don't what? really dream, though. That's the thing. Like, I don't dream. I Okay, everybody dreams, but I don't remember them. Like, I, like, have, like, a, I, like, dream, like, I remember my dreams like at least like one time, one once like every month or something like that. Like I don't know, I don't remember, and it's kind of like dumb shit. Like I don't know. I I got into a weird rabbit hole on YouTube once where I was like learning about dreams and like you know what happens in your brain, and there's some really like weird rabbit holes where where people think it's like this second dimension uh, where I mean yeah you're you're living an entirely <laughs> different life inside of your dream and you can't remember it and it connects in some weird way Damn. to death. I've and heard of that because basically like we have like limits as to what we can do and in in our dreams we don't have any limits. There's no boundaries. Like we can oh, yeah. do whatever the fuck we want. So yeah, I've heard of that too. Which is really cool and like I don't I know. I want to be able to control my dreams. You've never controlled your dreams before? No, like not like, many people can. Have you? No, yeah. like like oh, damn, did you be like you, you can tell yourself. Well, like this. That's oh, a skill. People like, like, tra- to like, like surf- train to, to do like that. What is that called? Like when you're running, like bitch. Um, <laughs> there's a word for it. There is a word for it. I don't. Does it man, it's gonna bug me like the, 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 like the yes. last one. Fuck. Let me look it up quick. Um, um what is it called? Oh, have you guys ever had sleep paralysis? No, and I, oh my God, I don't want to have that. What? I had, I had it once and it was literally the person. scariest thing ever. Oh, dude, like. Uh, never. And I think, I, I never want to And if you that. sleep like this, like, you're yeah, back. you're back. Bro, and I started to sleep like that like a year ago. Mm-hmm. Is it like that vivid dream? No. No. I don't know. Lucid dreaming. Lucid. <laughs> <Bro>. <laughs> <laughs> You're close. Yeah. yeah. Lucid dreaming. But you've you've lucid dreamt before. Yeah, like I feel like in the past I she was very connected though. to my dreams. Like I don't know, my dreams and me Google were that. just like but now it ha- the connection is far gone. I don't know what happened. But I could like <laughs> I would be able to tell myself to fly or I could like go like if I wanted to go somewhere instead of like where my dream was taking me, I would go. Like cool That's stuff crazy. like that, yeah. A lot, yeah. A ton of people try to like, they create certain like um, things in their dream that they can place and then remember. And then once they see it, they know they're in a dream mm-hmm. and then they can take control. But to be able just to do that without really trying, I mean, that's insane. That's that cool. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> I, I don't experience it anymore, bro. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know, bro. Not that I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's probably has something to do with that. Like, like me She's not tired. remembering my dreams anymore. Like, it's probably stress. Something getting old. Something's <laughs> fucked up. Getting man. old. <laughs> yeah, getting old. Something's You're not aging. right. <laughs> Stop, what the fuck? You're just only twenty one. You're She's aging. aging. <laughs> Young adult. It's happening quick, man. It's coming yeah. up. Damn, young adults. Yeah, I'm, what's what's the adult life now that you guys oh. both are 21? Everything's changed, no, right? I feel like... <laughs> ah. I hate it. <laughs> hate it. Yeah, I feel like after high school, though, like... I don't know. It just... It got set. <laughs> like, it's like, damn, bitch, you gotta... I feel like... I don't know, me, like... You're, like, set up to think, like, oh, you gotta uh, have everything, like, you know, um, prepare, like... Gotta have Go your to life college, together. Mm-hmm. Your family. I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? I'm barely, I don't barely even know myself, you know? Yeah. 20s, 20s are, are difficult. I hear a lot yes. of people talk about their 20s and they have all this kind of advice for you, like starting out what you should be doing and, and how you should be doing it. And uh, it's all bullshit, man. Nobody knows. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, definitely. I feel like just try as much like ventures you know, because you're young, you know. Yeah. You I think fail. a lot of people do try to, like, have their life, like, together at their yeah. 20s. Like, they really try really to... Yeah, they that. put too much pressure on themselves. But I feel like 20s is, like, where you're trying to, like... Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. And you're yeah, trying to find out who you are. Like, yeah. fuck around. Yeah. Or, like, fuck up, you know. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, let's fuck up. Let's <laughs> fuck up a little more. I get loose in the last. I'm dead. No, no, I remember when I was 15, though, I would dread, I was dreading turning 20. I was like, I cannot turn 20. I don't know what it was. Like, I was like, I don't want to get old. I was like, fuck that. And was 20 so was the Dude, old I number. Was, yeah, yeah, 20. It was 20. I told myself I was going to get, I was going to have kids at 25. Oh, hell no. <laughs> it, it could still I mean, happen. You got babe. time. You got it time. It could still happen, babe. I know. You never <laughs> you know. know. I mean, think about, no, I, you know, how, where you I were. I got plans. <laughs> a few years ago and where you are now, I bet you it's completely That's true. different. Um, um, Jovan would be disappointed. That's good. Jovan. <laughs> nah. Past Jovan would be disappointed. She'd be like, damn girl, you got a podcast? What the fuck? This is out of your comfort zone. Yeah. yeah. Dude, podcasting is uh, out of everybody's comfort zone. <laughs> yeah, talking in front of the camera. <laughs> she gets sweaty and nervous. Nah, I always, fuck now. <laughs> it's crazy to me, like, the Joe Rogans of the world that can talk for literally oh like God, three yes. hours plus on a podcast and just have unlimited topics. And obviously they're talking to some pretty like cool people, cool and yeah. specialized like people, but oh, yeah. still to be able to talk to somebody for like three hours. That's, that's crazy. A lot. And that's why I feel like we need to like expand our vocabulary. Cause I yeah. feel like if we could expand and, Really get what we want to say. Be Our podcast different. would be so good. Yeah, like, it'd be like, okay, we just know what the okay, fuck they're talking they're about. Okay, they're intelligent. <laughs> they, they actually got brain cells. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she graduated from high school. <laughs> she got just high school based. Just do you have, school. do you have like limits you guys are wanting to, because for me, I'm like, once I hit an hour, I'm like, oh, I should probably cut it because i don't know how many people are watching past <laughs> again the 15 we talked about this we <laughs> found out yeah. yeah i didn't even know this was a thing but <laughs> i guess you can find out like at what point people like click Stop. off your video yeah, which, is, which, is annoying. which one was yours mine was like five <laughs> yeah <laughs> super bad so was just like 15 okay mine's slowly <laughs> going up i think my last <laughs> one was like 11 Ooh, no but i saw the views that you got which one what video was it with wisco was it it was like almost 300 views. Damn. Oh, yeah. It was either YD or Monte. I think both of them are, hey, we, are pretty Our close. first YouTube, YouTube video hit up 300. Though. Yeah, yours is yeah. good, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's always interesting seeing... It's always the first video, too. Right, sometimes. because people are, like, curious. Yeah, they're like, why the fuck did this bitch start? Yeah, yeah. all start. your worst enemies are out yeah. here, like, oh. judging and trying oh, to see you fuck up. Yeah. Bitches, y'all wish could. And then it kind of, <laughs> then it kind of plateaus. And yeah, they kind of cool. She's kind of <laughs> funny. She got jokes. Yeah. <laughs> no, but definitely though, because we had an episode where it was like what three hours long. Yeah. Oh and then we, she had what to cut it. What episode was that? It was with um, Marco. Marco. Okay. Because he has like so much knowledge pretty, and like he good, yeah. talks about like whatever. You and him, and you him would probably yes. get along, huh? Yeah, definitely. Oh, he likes anime. Okay. You like anime? I'm not a oh, never huge mind. anime <laughs> guy. <laughs> I <laughs> watch. <laughs> That was random. Never mind. I thought it was you. Uh, no, I, I watch a few things here and there. I think like they would vibe. Uh, yeah. No, I, 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 I could. I, I watched that episode. I don't know if I got all the way through, but. Yeah, yeah. After that 50 minute mark, I was like, I, was like, God, like, bro. I can't be just... helping these chicks out, bro. The competition. I could just like it. <laughs> <laughs> just like competition. <laughs> hey, that's how you feel, bro. <laughs> It's cool, it's cool. No, no, but yeah, like after like three hours, we, we you know, we, he wanted to keep going, but our <laughs> ca our camera died, so we're like, fuck. You guys oh yeah, and the end of the him. video was just blank. Yeah, it was, it was blank. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Okay, I didn't see that one. He's like, damn, I gotta get up. <laughs> and you guys were just talking yeah. in the dark. <laughs> it was like, in the dark. <laughs> That's, that's funny that's funny no dead ass we're like now nah, we're still gonna post it because we're like what the fuck we don't want to end it some good knowledge yeah. some good people can learn out of this <laughs> hey, not us. you guys did like we're keep talking learn, for like half are. an hour i was surprised i was like oh they're going for yeah, it yeah they'll go for it it's all unprofessional maybe unprofessional over here yeah. no but it was, was like, kind of cool because i mean that's how podcasts start starting yeah, like, out they like they'll fuck up video. like at the beginning like you know the quality <laughs> <laughs> quality I am. It's, it's a rebel. Crazy out here. <laughs> See, all right. She's hung over. I, I really am, guys. I really <laughs> am. Oh, I'm, I I'm a little laughing. not there yet because you know, last night I went hard. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Hard. No, but um, so yeah, like we were. It was like three hours. I'm like, no, 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 no. We gotta cut this. Like, 
And then also, like, too, like, we're, we're getting into conversation, and then we get it off topic. That always happens. And we're, like, talking about, like, colors, rainbows, and, like, okay, You like, never guys, finish it. No. It's like, yeah. okay, guys. <clears throat> yeah, we start one track. thing, and then we don't, like, end up finishing it. Exactly. That's so. a whole art form. So, like, so. I got to cut it, like, okay, this is what, what the fuck is this, like, you know, but... Try to make the conversation <laughs> at least make some yes, sense. Something. Yeah, exactly. Like, we can't just be over here rambling about stupid shit. Like, you know, we got to give the people what they want. You know, a little knowledge over here. The rambling yeah. always is funny. Though. It is, though. It is. <laughs> like, us right now, you know, we're just laughing. That's that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> For us. Right. Just kidding. Yeah, everybody right. watching this is so annoyed. Right now. It's bad. Cool. I, had, I don't think they're watching right now. <laughs> the yeah, gone, bro. I, I, I'm only 11. Minutes, 11's my highest score. Oh, 11? Score. Oh, sorry, 11. No, he 11's got the up. highest he score. Got up. He got up. Yeah, got we'll see up. how long people make it through this. <laughs> 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 and I'll let you guys know. Right, <laughs> no, but oh, yeah. I, I think video brings such a, a cool element mm-hmm. to podcasting where you not only can listen to them, but you can also see them and see yeah. how they interact and see how they hold themselves. Oh, how they look too, because like I watch a lot of, I mean, I listen to a lot of podcasts and I'm like, how does this person look? Because like they don't have a picture or nothing. And like I have to like search them up on like Instagram and shit. I'm like, oh my God. Like I This is totally yeah, different. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? I, I fuck with you. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's always so weird. Like, again, when you you never see somebody and you've listened to their voice for like yeah. so many years on end and you finally it's look like, them what? up and you're like, oh my God, this is not the person I pictured at all. Yeah, it's, it's a little weird. Do but you guys, you guys like, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Do you guys like um, video podcast more or just audio? I'm a visual person, Me so too. I love having the video. Like my favorite podcast is Tiger Belly, and they do audio and video. And their video, their like set is so cool. It's like super vibrant colors and like neon, everything. And I, you know, I always love having the option to watch it. Mm-hmm. You you don't have to watch the whole thing, yeah. but you know, if you're playing it in the background and you can see what's going on. It, it definitely adds something, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I watch your video. Like, I, I want to see them and mm-hmm. all that. But you guys need to get... It makes you feel get, like you're there. Sorry. No, you need to get on the Spotify <laughs> I know, game. Do, yes, do, I know. This, this, uh, on that shit, we started the last episode with Zach was the first one on video on Spotify. And now this one will also be... Oh. Oh. Hey. On Spotify and video Check form. Check us out on Spotify and YouTube. Oh, that's yeah. so cool. Uh, so maybe it was a good thing that the other one didn't work. Why? Maybe. Because then it wouldn't be on Spotify. Oh, yeah. This is true. This is true. It was meant to be. It was meant mm-hmm. to be. It is cool. You guys <laughs> you need to get on it. You yeah. need to get on it. We kind of been lacking, Loki. Yeah, dude. I feel like, you know. Uh, <laughs> Things have been a little bit down. But, you know. A little sick. <laughs> a little over. <laughs> and I've been taking up your time. I mean, this is the second. It eats actually, up a lot of time. It does, but yeah. I mean, I don't got to edit. <laughs> right. yeah, it's, it's all right. you, bro. It's all you. <laughs> <laughs> Just sit back and relax. Right. Yeah, and that's nice, though, like being on a podcast but not actually editing because it's like. That's what we were talking about. Yeah. yeah. When we left the last time. Yeah, we were like, so oh, good. that was so good. We were like, we didn't have to do anything. Yeah, yeah and I'm up here shit myself <laughs> yeah, because right. I'm like, oh, fuck, yeah. man, like, exactly. I messed up so bad. Yeah, but it's like, yeah. like for us, it doesn't like, bro, we love doing this shit. Like, you know, like, we're podcasters. Uh, I like to say that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're podcasters. So, like, it's not, it, it wasn't nothing for us. Like, you know, I, if you need skin, we, we pull of up. Course, I, I will definitely again. be having you guys out again <laughs> because it's, uh, like that. <laughs> it's easy to talk to fellow podcasters in a way where, you know, you, it's never going to be super awkward conversation because you guys know how to hold the conversation and how to talk. Yeah, yeah. Or like pick it up, you know? Yeah. We try. We try. <laughs> like bouncing off topics, it's always like so hard and intimidating when you don't know somebody mm-hmm. and to come up with certain topics to talk about. Or like, about. do they even want to talk about it? Right. Like, You're know. always in your head yeah. about what they're thinking, where, you know, you guys come with your own topics yeah. and like we're throwing stuff out there that again i i have no idea that yeah. this stuff is going to come up but it's cool mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. when it comes to topics and and you know if you're having somebody on the podcast that you don't know outside of just like social media do you guys struggle with the the conversation at points yeah like we like try like surface level try to like 
look uh, like what they're doing, you know, or like body language. Yeah, or like on Instagram and see like what you know what they what oh, they're okay. doing, you know, like yeah, yeah. so we could talk about it if they're working on a new project or music or or uh, a new business, you know. So like, oh, can we talk about that or like you know, it's like it's not like. We also want to, like, for the questions, we also want to, like, change it up a little, get more, like, interesting questions going on. Because I feel like we have, like, what, like, you know, the... Pretty uh, basic ones. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but it's, like, people want to know, you know, how'd you start, you know, mm-hmm. how'd you come up with this and all that, so... Mm-hmm. And a lot of the times, we try to make it as natural as we can. Like, we don't try to, oh, yeah, yeah. like, focus too much on the questions. Like, or we'll like, have them there yeah. just in case we need them. Yeah. Right. But a lot of the times, we like to just do, like, a natural conversation, you know? Because no, that's I where it. it sounds it's the like best. It's, like, natural. Yeah. We don't want to, like, like stage it, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, like, you know, back to it. So Get to it. Yeah, Stop question. fucking talking about that shit. <laughs> <laughs> back to it. Well, you could flow from one <laughs> yeah, thing yeah, to yeah. another yeah. without yeah. having the... The pressure. I feel pressure. like, uh, yeah, from, like, the beginning, though, like... um. You know, we grown a little, like well, definitely, because like we were like focused on the questions too a lot. much, yeah. And then like now, I feel like they're there. You know, we want to talk about it, or like it just it's in our head. Or we're, like we'll get to them eventually, yeah. but like you know, it's super it's smart easy. because I'm always worried about getting somebody in that I don't know super well, and then running out of things to talk yeah, about at uh, like so half an your, hour. To like, what's your favorite uh, color? What's, what's your favorite color? Where you from? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like literally that, like. no definitely and i feel like that's what i always in the beginning like before we always record i always stress about it and she's like it's okay it's okay i'll be like bro what if we like run out of things to talk about like what are we gonna do then and she's like bro relax like calm down my anxiety is like so high it's all the time the, yeah, yeah. Like, and we'll she's so out. like she's pretty chill we'll just so. figure out like you know like because I, I for me like conversations bro like i could tell about anything i don't go fuck like all right so uh, not too deep but like you know, we could just, I don't know, I'll just bring some shit up. Like, I feel know. both of you because I feel like inside my head, I'm Betty, yeah. but <laughs> outside, I'm Gio. Like, I'm stressing out super hard inside of my head, but, like, on the outside, people are always like, dude, you're so relaxed. So chill. Like, yeah. No, you really are chill. Like, you just, like, Oh, I get back. told all the time, like, dude, you must have been stoned during the podcast <laughs> or, like, all not these right. other things. But I'm, I'm not. Like, I'm, I'm this not, is, guys. I'm sober. <laughs> like, this is me. But is it, it's funny. It's, uh, the, the other day I got, well, I got, I've been getting carded a lot lately. Carded, like, on bars? Like, ID'd, like, at bars, oh. at the restaurant well, I got ID'd. You look ID'd. pretty. I look, look older. Young. Yeah, I look but, pretty. A young adult? The mustache, <laughs> the mustache yeah. confuses oh, people. That's true. <laughs> like I, I bought some some beer at Meyer and I was doing the self checkout thing. And you know, normally they check at <laughs> self checkout because you're going through by yourself. Yeah. But the guy, my ID looks nothing like oh, myself. Like, like really? I have no mustache. My hair is super short and kind of like spiked up. So he pulls out my ID, or I show him my ID, <laughs> he and he looks at yeah, he, he looks <laughs> at it, and he's like, "Are you sure this is you?" And I'm like, "Yes." And he starts like asking questions. He's like, "All right, what's address. your middle name? Like, uh, what's your address? Yeah. What's your what's I your birthday?" I feel like birthday? I will get nervous and I'll fuck it up knowing that. I was gonna well, say like, that. I, know it, I like, was so close to messing up my age. Like, I'm like, "Oh, how old am I?" Someone did that. Wait, no. What the fuck? Someone, I went to this fucking Mexican, uh, I don't know, like a bar or a club, I don't know, what I was in Green Bay, and he said my ID was fake, and I was like, boy, that's me, I got it mad <laughs> as fuck, I'm like, that's me, how are you gonna tell boy. me that's fake, like, and it was, I was like, he was, because my birthday's in uh, 2000s, in October, so like, I guess he got confused, I'm like, I'm 21. Like, bro, do your math right. Like, fuck. <laughs> I was pissed. I'm like, you thought it was a fake? Or? Yeah, he thought it was fake. Because yeah. like, my age or something. I'm like, no, it's real. Like, I feel like it looks like me, though. Mm-hmm. Definitely. I haven't, gotten, I haven't gotten um, I ID'd a lot. Swear. I oh. went to a restaurant with my coworkers and I didn't get ID. And I was like, wow, I feel so grown. <laughs> <laughs> She's grown. It's like mm-hmm. the when when you finally hit the age where you start to... You know, look like a senior citizen, and you get the senior mm-hmm. citizen discount yeah. at like oh, hell no. Culver's. Oh, no. <laughs> Damn, my heart would break that day. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about the whole ID thing. Like when I get ID now, I'm like, okay, 
Like this feels kind of still good. young. Okay. <laughs> I actually don't like it. I know it. when I used to work at a grocery store and I'd ask for their ideas, they'd be like, Oh my god, you make me feel so young. Right. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> like, all right, bitch, let me get that idea. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> yeah, I'll go What's it. your date of birth? <laughs> what color is your hair? What's your Wait, middle what name? sign are you? I uh, I was born in April, so that's Aries, right? So wait, so your birthday's coming up? It is, yeah. What's I'll be 24 on April 17th. Wait, wait, hey. are we in April? We yeah. are. April Fool's. April 2nd. April Fool's. Stupid. April Fool's. She is very hungover. She's like a day behind, bro. <laughs> You're not uh, lying. Dude, fuck. <laughs> April Fool's. Shit. Yeah. yeah, no, the, the whole science thing. I, I've never. Oh, yeah, what's your like. I've uh, never gotten parents. into the science before, but you guys seem pretty uh, no. heavily into it. No, you think so, but we don't. Like, I only like asking that. I'm like, okay, like, because I know it, like, st- a little bit. Like, so, but I just like asking people, like, what's your sign? Because I'm like, oh, like, I don't know. Are I you just, judging me right now? No, no, no. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know um, signs like that. Like, oh okay. my God, this person, this and this. No. I just like asking like people. I don't know. But I feel like you're more into it. Like you know a little bit more. Mm, yeah, somewhat. I used to have a book of it. I'm not like too educated on like other people's signs. I'm mostly like the people that are around my yeah, life. Yeah, like close. Yeah, yeah, like in my life. Um, but like I know, like if you know your moon sign, your oh, moon yeah, sign. Oh yeah, like no that. Idea. All all that, that like, you get, like, your, like into it. Like, yeah, it's on Snapchat, Snapchat too. You can like yeah. figure that out. But your moon sign is basically your emotions. And then your rising is basically like the persona that you put on to the public. And do you find those to be accurate most of the time? Um, Definitely, at least for me. Yeah, that's like crazy. some people like some people are like bro, like that's everybody. Like some people like hella like judge it, you know. But honestly, like it does, like it does make sense though. At the end, I don't know for me. I, no, I know some people that are super into it. Some people hate like, on that shit. Like, oh my god, sign. Oh yeah. my god, I just crashed my car because I'm a fucking Scorpio. <laughs> right. <laughs> that like the memes. The yeah. memes are funny. Like, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's mm-hmm. got to be something to it. Yeah. I mean, there. I, I always see it everywhere, and I've, I've never taken the time to sort of dig into yeah. it. But yeah. It's interesting, though. It no, I think it really does, to, like, it makes sense. Because yeah. when I did my research, like, it made so much like, sense. This is what I am. Yeah, like, for my, I did research on my moon, and it basically said that, like, if you have this moon, I'm a cancer moon. If you have this moon, you're also, Emotion. like, you're very emotional, but it said that you have a pretty rough relationship with your mother. And, like, me and my mom, our relationship isn't the best. And I was like, that's so crazy. Like, I don't know. There's truth. Yeah, I know of a cancer that has the same problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. No, yeah, I think, well, I was going to do it for her. I was oh, going to. Oh, girl, I'm still waiting. I know, dude. I'm sorry. I'm busy. Yeah, girl, you would not think. I was kidding. Just kidding. Just Babes, kidding, just I was kidding. sick. <laughs> She's so mean. She had the flu. Come on up. <laughs> nah, it's, it's cool. Yeah, I was going to do her research to show, to tell to her what kind of person she is. mind too. Yeah. I'm curious. Yeah, of course. Hey, course. hey y'all need to start paying me. <laughs> 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 start a business. For, For real. real. <laughs> you know how those people can like, um, is it like read you? Read, yeah. Like they got this um, gift. Have well, you the, ever gotten? The Toro cards or I was going to ask you if you ever gotten read, yeah. yeah. have you? I, I did once. <gasps> I, I was uh, drunk at the time, so I don't <laughs> really oh, remember no. too much. Yeah. I got but, my my card spread mm-hmm. three times. The last one was kind of like mm, I paid a hundred dollars. Damn. Damn. I, I told That's her from the beginning. Investment. I'm like, they're finessing you, bitch. Joanna. But it was he was a good he was a guy from Instagram and I hit him up and I liked his vibe. Like he was he's he was. He was Did like a cool anything person. that was red? Uh, ring that's, true? that's yeah, like. I don't think so. It was like <laughs> like sixty five percent true, and then the other one was like. Mm, I feel like if you get something bad to you, you're like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. then it puts you in a whole different mindset yes. where you're like paranoid. Or you're like, like, you're trying to like change it, it up too. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. When I got my first reading done, um, it was oh. pretty accurate. Yeah, the um, first one was super accurate. Like, we actually went to like a place where mm-hmm. they do it. And, you know. Like a fortune teller? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it? No, I wasn't what? a fortune teller. She was a psychic. Oh, okay. A psychic? Yeah. I don't know what the fuck. But she basically, she told me. 
that there was like a spirit roaming around in the room that we were in. I was like, oh. Hey, like, like, yeah, I was like, babes, I'm scared. Don't <laughs> say that scared. shit. Don't I was like, don't fucking say that. Stop scaring me. <laughs> Can I go now? <laughs> we're done. Can I have my money back? But she was like, oh, this is a guardian angel. And she was like, um, I'm getting like a symbol. Like, this is like your grandma. And I was like, okay. Like, I've never met my grandma before. But she was telling me, she was like, don't. She, my grandma was telling a message to the lady. And she was telling me to not get into um, gambling. Gambling. Oh, my God. And I was like, <clears throat> my mom used to have a gambling, like, problem. Like, she used to go to the casino a lot. And she, and she was like, don't go down that route. And I was like, that's so crazy that she said that. I mean, it could have been, like, a coincidence, but I don't think it was. Do you give, like, your name and stuff no. before you go? Like, are they doing, like, research about you before you get there? The lady or? didn't ask for my name. She just said, okay, like, this is the time. Like, she Yeah, they don't ask for your name when you... Give me the money. <laughs> yeah. I'm always, no. like... It's so fascinating. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, just, like, the... Because the, the people who, like, talk to ghosts and all That's that scary. kind of stuff. I don't know. Do you guys believe in, uh, in ghosts I don't want to think about it. I don't know. Yeah, I believe in ghosts. I have a, a great aunt of mine who's super into like the paranormal. Oh world my god! Don't talk about. It. I'm scared. Really? <laughs> like talking about it's it it's really fascinating because when you're around her and you're, oh you're god, with her, she, she'll like point out certain things. Oh my god! Like, I would not hey, let me hang out with her. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's cool. I'm scared. I used I'm a pussy. <laughs> I used to have this class and this girl or this lady. She says that she was like a a ghostbuster basically. Like she yeah, would go into like, homes and actually, like. No, and try to get the ghost to like go into the other world, basically. What do you mean other world? Uh, like a median, right? Is that what they call them? Um, I don't know. Is it a median? I don't know. The other, like the, I don't know. Because like they're still stuck in this life, I guess. The ghost. Oh yeah. So that she tries to like help them okay. get like relief. The, Bye. Yeah. Leave. It's time get for you your to wings, go, baby. baby. Yeah. We talked a little bit about uh, what you guys thought happened uh, after death. Oh yeah. And the the whole reincarnation thing. And I'm just so fascinated by all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I was, I was doing some more digging after Ooh, we talked. What did you find? Well, I, I I wanted to know more about, like, reincarnation and, and how people thought it worked. And there you, there's a million YouTube videos on it. But it's it's really interesting how, you know, they talk about how, again, following, like, the laws of, the universe like energy is created and it can't die once it's been created so it just transfers from one thing to another exactly it's crazy but at the same time i'm like where the fuck we go right (laughs) yeah or like a billion years ago like when dinosaurs were roaming the earth Uh, like where do they go (laughs) right yeah yeah definitely that's the part where i struggle with too like i i'm like it makes sense, like, energy can be created or just, or it can be just created, but it can't be destroyed. But, like, what happens after? Right. You know what I mean? Like, And after. humans are such, like, a fragile, just blip in time. I, I saw a TikTok, I saw a TikTok, uh, <laughs> but I saw a TikTok where they, like, did a, a zoom out, like, on the Earth and then the galaxy and then the galaxies around and then you know, the universe and how we are just so little tiny and we haven't been around at all. Because y'all bitches don't know what Maybe we go to another planet, right. babes. There yeah. could be. Mm-hmm. I want to be a dog. <laughs> I want to be a bird. <gasps> I remember. That I gasp? Was... Holy shit. I remember I used to always say I want to be a bird so I could fly. Imagine. I, I but then I went skydiving so much. Was... You I hate got, birds? I got attacked by a bird when I was little. That's yeah. kind of traumatize you? Yeah, of course. What kind of bird? Like an like a <laughs> like, outside bird? One of those red winged blackbirds. Oh. They're like super aggressive. Oh. I, I was walking around in the, you know, like the bo- funny. botanical gardens. <gasps> oh, I love right? big, taking pictures there. Yeah, it's a cool spot until you get attacked by a bird. Yeah, there's a lot there, too. Yeah, a lot of birds, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, I always see a crow. Every single day of my life, I Swear always see God. a crow. Did you see one today? I didn't go outside today. So oh, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like every single day I go outside, I always have to see a crow. I don't know what the fuck I'm it scared. means. Oh my God, I'm... But, like, that's you know, there's, like, a bad... Energy with that. Well, that's what they say. They're super smart. Have yeah. you ever, like, yeah, seen really videos smart. of how people train crows yeah. to do certain things? Oh, tasks? I'm, like, I, I'm thinking, um, 
when you said that they trained them, um, those white birds, uh, pigeon eagles. <laughs> We're just naming uh, birds know, at this point. <laughs> no, you know when you um like a funeral and they like go the birds, pigeons, the doves. Oh, oh. <laughs> fuck! I don't know, I don't know the yeah, difference doves. between pigeons um, and doves. Oh, shout and out, send letters. shout out the guy, duff guy on TikTok. <laughs> there's a duff guy. On TikTok? Yeah, there is. There is. If you guys know, he's he's like um. What does he do? Okay, so trains the doves. <laughs> yeah, this is job. So he goes to like funerals. I don't know. He got famous on TikTok. He's kind of cool, though. He's like a little, like, uh, Mexican guy. I don't know. He's cool. Anyways. You, I don't know. You can train a dove to, like, fly and then come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? Um, Fuck. He, like, said something about... Um, He was, like, teaching us that. He was teaching us? <laughs> he was on a podcast, and I was just listening to it. But, um... Oh, you got really in depth with this Yeah, dog dog. for real. <laughs> <up. laughs> see, this is... I love watching... I'm sorry, I can't say watching. Listening to podcasts on how they, their fame, you know? So, mm. like, I was like, I'm interested in this guy. Like, what the fuck, a dope guy? But his story is actually pretty cool. <laughs> but anyways, with the doves. What are you saying about the doves? <laughs> Something about, like, if they go too far away, they never return home. Because, like, they can only go a certain distance. Yeah. It's kind of sad. I was like, oh. well, it's, it's based off of, they have, like, a really good internal compass, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, and yeah. It, it's he all based on, like, the polar patterns of the world. So I, I think if they get too far in one direction, like you're it's saying, gonna... and the, the polar whatever points shift, they can't figure out where they are, so they just get far. lost. Mm. That's interesting, though. But, I mean, <laughs> when you think back, like, to, like, Paul Revere days, you know, they used oh those gosh, things for yes. mail, right? Yeah, yeah, they did. Mm-hmm. Sending messages via Or like doves. a bottle? Do you remember they put... I remember? In the ocean? <laughs> remember? <laughs> remember? Yeah, bro, we remember that remember shit. Remember back in the days? Like, how the fuck? Like a map? Like a yeah, pirate? Yeah, like all that shit. Like, I, I, I'm like, how the fuck does that work? But They make it work. <laughs> they make it work so hard. I don't know how. You gotta the just water? walk the beach and, and search for I'm treasure that. maps. I'm gonna write... I'm gonna write a, actually, that it's littering, yeah. yeah. They're interesting TikTokers. I'm going to do it, but... <laughs> no. no. I'm gonna do it. I was going to say, like, send a letter to somebody, but hey, yo. Send a letter to someone? Like, mm. Maybe you could be the dove girl. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> and, no and train your like doves. No. Dove girl. <laughs> you already have the podcast down. You can talk about the doves on your podcast. No, please don't. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just thinking that I don't approve. That idea. I don't mean, nah, I don't think that's my calling. <laughs> I don't know. We, we talked about this last time where we, I think we both have a similar personality where we'll get super in-depth on a certain topic, whether it's via YouTube or, you know, some other podcast, um, but where you fixate on certain things that you wouldn't go out and try or do. Oh, yeah. Like we talked about... Um, I have this interest in like homesteading and like people living off of the land and and that kind of stuff. But oh, yeah. yours was um, going to Mexico, like, <laughs> like family vloggers. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she's like going to Mexico. <laughs> I have nothing to do with no, that. No, no, because yeah, he was like, wait, oh, okay, I know we're talking about now. Yeah, I have like this. You're obsessed with family vloggers. Okay, yeah, I don't know. Like that's kind of weird. But, like, it's, like, babies, like, little kids. Oh, that sounds weird. <laughs> no. She's not no. a creep. No, not like that. But I'm saying, like, they're cute. So I, like, watch them because they're cute and little. But, like, I don't, you know, like, I don't know if I want to. I Eventually, I think I do when I have kids. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's part of your 25. <laughs> Stop. Your imagine plan, I, right? Imagine yeah. I actually do have kids at 25. No. Ew, that's too young. Yeah. But anyway. Ew. Um. Yeah, so... Yeah, I always watch like family vlogs. Like I don't know why. Like she's a little too upset. Like she keeps yeah. track with like what they're doing. And, like, like, yeah, they're so cute. Like they're so cute. So I just want to like, oh, it's so cute. I I do the same thing with like, different oh. topics. Granted, but I mean, <laughs> top is bound about babies. <laughs> yeah, no, but there are certain things that you know I get not obsessive over, but like I get super in depth with just because I'm curious. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but once they get, like, little, like, older, I'm just like, okay, they're mm-hmm. not cute no more. Like, they're only cute a certain age. Like, oh, he's so cute. But and when they get older, I'm just like, okay, bye. I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm following. <laughs> I'm following. Yeah. Get Damn, out. she's got to. <laughs> Putting you up for adoption. I'm just Stop. kidding. I'm no, sorry. That's like that. Stop. No, but yeah. What's, what have yours, Richie? I don't have any. 
You, there's gotta be something. <clears throat> Everybody's got something. You know, you don't got like doves. That no, you can bro. Get into. <laughs> I don't follow doves. No, I really oh, don't wow. have anything. Really? Yeah. You talked about painting a little bit before. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I like to watch Bob Ross. Ooh, oh, I love yeah. watching shout Bob Ross. Shout out Bob Ross. Ross. Dude, shout He's, out. Does he have a like, um, YouTube? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. They they Wait, made all of his stuff public. I Wait, think is after he dead? He is, yeah, kind of, dead. he is dead? Okay. okay. R.I.P. Oh, man, Ross. I have a mug. <laughs> you actually? Well, Iris got me a shout out to Iris. Yeah, she got me a Bob Ross mug. mug. He has such a soothing energy. Yes, I he's love calm. watching his videos, dude. He's like the way he talks. And, a like, happy little treat. He's so like gentle, chill about it. Like he'll be like, if you think you're messing up, like it's okay, just keep going, just keep like the I way he gives a lot sound. of like, like good he, life comparisons. Yeah, like he I makes you feel him. so good. Like he's like, wow, I think I can be an artist. You know, yeah. it's so nice. So you're trying to be the next Bob Ross, basically. Sure. I'm gonna shave my head, get a. Stop. Shave your head. No, you don't yeah. have to. Oh, you a little. I don't have to. <laughs> I'll, like, cut it a little, give it a little trim, and then get some curly products. Yeah, you yeah he's got she's that gonna afro. be the next Bob Ross. Point Bobby, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> the way she thought about that. Because I'm like thinking a girl version, like Bob, and then I'm like, your shit starts with your shit. Your name starts with a B. Oh my God, it's meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> meant to be. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. Fuck. Thanks. BB. <laughs> the, all the beasts connect. They combine. <laughs> the stars align. <laughs> On the this stars. episode of BB. <laughs> <laughs> BB and Gigi. You okay. could uh, definitely make a show. There are. The, I, have you guys heard of Twitch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I the know. the biggest category right now is Gaming. just chatting. Where people can do anything and everything. Like, people have cooking streams. There's, like, just daily life streams where people literally sit in front of their cameras and their computer and they just talk with their chat for See, days on end. It's so fascinating. Me and Betty, um, remember we used to go live on Instagram? Yeah, we would be really annoying on Instagram. No, and the thing is... No one would watch us. Only like three people, like our solid people, would watch us. You no, know? you know, but still, when we say <laughs> really, still. no, 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 when no. we stay consistent with it, yeah. bro, we started getting like viewers. Yeah. We're like, hey, <laughs> and we had people interacting with us, and then bro, we but fucked people, up. But people would not fucking type back. We would ask questions like, "Keep this interesting," because we love talking. We're like, "Oh my god, like, what you guys do today?" Or like, "This and this," asking questions, and like, people, are, I guess, were like shy to like answer. I, don't I know. guess. Like, what well, that's so fuck? interesting. So it's in kind of in comparison with podcasts yeah. Yeah. in a weird wow. way. When did you guys do that? This was like three years ago. Yeah. We were in high like school. Like, ago, we yeah. were scared. We would like call live. We were scared. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Yeah. yeah. And then we fucked up and then we didn't go live for a while. And then <laughs> we tried going live again and no one went Remember on it. Remember we went on it the last time we went on it? It was like five people. Or yeah. Like, I think one person. Oh my god! And then we have like one. There's that one person that stays always, strong. yeah, always <laughs> Stay goes to the entire yes. thing. Shout out to you. But I always wish I had like some type of like following, so like I could just like talk to people. Like I don't know, like that's yeah. what you want to do with podcasting. Yeah, it makes sense. we should go live, like a live podcast. Right. This setup here is perfectly capable. Of and then you got the, the camera, and then like, yep. you, I mean, you you know more of the this stuff. Like you, could, we could, like we could go out like on Twitch and have like a live stream. Oh my I, god! I want I want to try it ideas, out sometime because you know, I ideas. I have everything Everybody's already so, here. Yeah. But it's such a cool. It's it's unlike anything that's ever been done before because we have such amazing technology now where you can literally live watch somebody in their daily life do yeah. whatever the. You know, or like a behind the scenes unedited uh, podcast. Right. Something like that. Like before I, you actually edit it. The no. most nerve wracking part is if you mess oh, up the Or like you say someone's it. name. That's it, babe. Sometimes we like slip up and like we'll I have say to people's like. Names, yeah. yeah, you know, or like, you know, people from the past that. <laughs> <laughs> people from the past. <laughs> people from the past are like, okay, we got to cut that. So, the, haters. the haters. The haters. So we don't hater. talk about it no more. Yeah, but so. I mean, I, I give anybody who live streams a ton of credit because yeah. I, I would be so nervous. Really? Even more nervous than, you know, podcasting because yeah. you have a little more control in this situation. But if you're doing yeah, stuff actually, you're live, like live. Oh, what if yeah, you do? I'm like thinking about it. If I do fuck beast. up, like, uh. Yeah. Whole different beast. You're Have live. you ever gone on Omegle? <gasps> oh yes. My God. I, I, when I was in, you know, Young. 
not was middle school. It was probably shit. like early yeah. high school for me. And uh, yeah, I hopped on a Omegle every uh, every now and again with no goal in mind. But I saw some fucked up shit, man. Dude, it was <laughs> bad. We would always go on it. Like we had like sleepovers. Like we would go on it. It was the Bro, thing to do. Dude, yes. There was this one time. I think we talked about this on our podcast. But there was this one time, me and my other friend Iris, we were on Omegle, dude. Oh. My dad happened to walk past, oh and there's this guy. You know how guys show their dick dude, on there? Yeah, so, all the time. so gross. Like, and my dad walked past, and he was like, What are you guys doing? And, and bro, we were like, mm-hmm. Uh, nothing. Like, ew, bro. We were just, well, okay, that's so, so weird, weird. though, because like, I remember we were like out of high school or something. I don't know. We went on Omega and like we were actually like talking to guys, like not guys. We were like, <laughs> she just sold herself <laughs> out, man. No. We're not cutting that out. She's talking to guys. No, no, no. I'm talking about like people around don't let the world. It <laughs> Stop. Uh, people around the world. Remember? Yeah, there's like people the guy, all he around. Followed the world. us on Instagram. We're like, oh my god, can I have your Instagram? And he, we actually, t- yeah, some we're pretty like, cool people actually. Yeah, so we got to talk to. Cool. It's like hit or miss though, because you could yes. run into those like super weird, creeper. weird mm-hmm. creepy people. Because I remember, yeah, we were like talked over, like what the fuck, or like some people like to fuck around. Um, yeah, we went live and we were just like fucking around with people. Like I'd know, always watch those shit. old like YouTube videos where it'd be like you know the guy who dressed up as a nerd and oh, could or, like, rap, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. then he'd surprise people when he hopped out of bagel yeah. and he rapped. <laughs> Looking back is so stupid, <laughs> but like. Dude, that guy pulled in some mm-hmm. views, man. He made bank off of doing that. That's crazy. There's so many was... weird ways to make money in this I know, world. I know, there really <laughs> is. Definitely. Get on that shit. Find, find yourself a hobby that makes mm-hmm. you money. Take feet pics. Yeah. <gasps> feet pics. I, I got a facial done today. Sorry, this oh, has really? nothing to do. Yeah, I got a facial done today. Everyone should go get a facial once in their life. It is the most amazing experience Funny. ever. It was so relaxing, but... Bro, I didn't know I had to get, like, undressed. And she's like, okay, go get undressed, and I'll come back. And I was like, okay. I was like, is this a massage? Damn, this is just for my face, right? <laughs> no, yeah. But, like, it's because they get into, like, your chest area. So it's just your shirt. But, um, like, when I had a mask on, she's like, okay. And then, bro, she goes by my feet. And I'm like, oh what is she God, doing? She takes my socks off. <laughs> no, what? She starts massaging my feet. And I'm Dude, like, okay, I'm like, so sure. Scared. I was like, I didn't know this was part of the facial. <laughs> like, I'll take it, babe. But it was. There was a female though. <laughs> yeah, it was a girl. <laughs> Did she snap? <laughs> she snapped a few times. <laughs> snacking them. <laughs> I just started sucking on them too. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so, uh, that was That's funny though. Um. Yeah. Um, that would catch anybody off guard. <laughs> I mean, when you did they like outline what you were? Yeah, like, no, I didn't say anything. And like <laughs> facials, so dumb, so like you know, facials. I never expected to get my feet massaged. I was like, okay. dude, I would be like, no, no, no I'm tickle itch. I'm gonna start kicking you in your face. I'm glad touch. I have my toes done. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self care. Self care. <laughs> I guess. I guess. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if you want your facial. I want to get like a massage, like a. I'm having a massage next Wait, week. Same place? Bro, Damn. self-care. I'm really same going place? in. No, different place. He's like really good though. I, so many did, reviews say that me. he's really good. Like I want like deep, like my muscle, like or cracks me too. Oh my God. I've never had a massage like that. I'm all bones, man. I don't think it'd go too well. Mm. Yeah. I need like a deep. I think they like, know though. What are they going to They're specialized. Yeah. They're like, oh, you're stressed out. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Got the knots. stressed out, bro. <laughs> That's We're gonna work this together. Come on. But on a, a self self care kick. Uh, have you ever heard of like the isolation pod? No. Mm. No. Okay, they're super yeah. weird. It's like um, yeah. they're like <laughs> these pods, human sized pods, but there's like salt water in them, and it's like a pool, and you go mm. in and they close it, and it's pitch black. Oh. They're noise isolating, and you mm. can just float. In the salt water, and it's su- it's supposed to be like you know a a way to relax and calm mm-hmm. your body down. But I've always wanted to go and try it. There's a place in Green Bay that does it. Ooh, I, y'all could do it. Let me know how that goes. I'm scared. I I really <laughs> I really want to try it because just to be left, it it's supposed to like remove a ton of like stimulation, 
Like, oh. yeah, because you're floating in pitch black darkness and there's no noise. So it's like oh, you're just cool. left to your. Don't you go like crazy, crazy it's after so, quiet so many and dark? I don't know. Certain amount of time, because there's this guy that once uh, was put in um that box, yeah, that like box, a room, whatever. It was a room, the most silent yeah, room yeah, in the yeah. world. Yes. Crazy because you could hear your blood flow in yes. your heart. See, that's terrifying. <gasps> that's I don't think scary. it's to that yeah. level okay. where you can I feel hear. Like they should at least play some music or something. Or light. Yeah. I'm I don't know. I don't know. I'm just so curious to remove all of that and to yeah. see like mm, what happens. It would probably be nice, but my mind is just so... Uh, I'll start getting pretty it, w- it would make it such a bad experience. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to try. Let's go. I'm going to uh, try. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that goes. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun. All right. <laughs> Gio needs some babe. self-care. Gio does need I some do. Self-care. That's why I need a little massage, a little crack, you know, yeah. a little tent over here. <laughs> It's something. It's important. Yeah, mm-hmm. it really is. Or like, you know, get like your nails done, your feet, your like lashes, you know. I don't know. Go shopping. <laughs> Makes you feel good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I need to go shopping. Me too. That just yawned. That was kind of <laughs> rude. <laughs> Does he not yawn? Well, oh. it's, you know, it's it's rude. Like. Oh, you said rude? Yeah. Oh, I thought you said weird. No. <laughs> He's no. actually, <laughs> actually, how long we've been at it? Holy shit! It's, what are we? We're at one fifteen. <gasps> oh, oh damn! I thought you were gonna say one fifty. I was like, <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? No, that definitely flew by. Damn, right. we talked. We want to start talk, talk. wrapping it up. Yeah, so. I again, I I appreciate you guys coming out for not once but twice. <laughs> Course. It, it means a lot to have people who understand when you mess up. <laughs> we had the mess ups happen, so we we understand. And we killed it again. We did. It mm-hmm. was good. It was good. Yeah. Oh, it proves fun. what if you put three podcasters in a room, we squash it. They're it is gonna kill it. Amazing. Exactly. They're gonna kill it. So amazing energy. It, you guys need to go and check out After Hours podcast After on hours. YouTube. We're trying to get them on all platforms. Yeah, but 100. for now, YouTube, get them to 100 subscribers. 100. Thank like, you. Like, subscribe, interact. It means the world. Like thank and comment. You. Like and comment. Yeah. Yes. But thank you, ladies, for coming out. Thank, thank you for thank having you for us. Having yes. Yeah, we had a really good time. And uh, we're, we're going to go hit the isolation pods. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, what? We at the, we at the, we at the same. Damn, that was good. New mixtape coming out soon.